What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Aisha aka Aisha the GOAT and today I have a video that ladies you are going to definitely be interested in. This video is very personal for me. It was hard for me to actually decide whether or not I even wanted to share this with the world but here I am sharing it with y'all and um, as you can probably tell by the title this is going to be about plastic surgery in the Dominican Republic. Yes, you guys, I am going to have plastic surgery. And yes, you guys, I am going to go to the DR to have this surgery. But before we get into the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the notification bell so that way you'll know whenever I upload a new video, you won't miss anything also you can follow me on instagram at aisha the goat and you can also follow me on snapchat at it's mayday why do i want to have plastic surgery um i think i'm like millions of other women out there who have had babies and since we've had babies our bodies have not been the same we've dieted we've exercised and it's just not given what we want it's not giving me what i want so with that being said, I decided that I'm gonna go ahead and do this plastic surgery thing. A little background about myself. I have two biological children and after I had those two kids, my body has not been the same, okay? Um, I had my first son in 2013. I did not have the plastic surgery that I wanted to have. It was because I knew I wanted to have another baby. So 2019, I had another baby and that's it. The shop is closed, okay, I think. So anyway, now that I'm pretty sure I'm done having kids, I decided why not? I went ahead and set out on a search for my doctors, found the doctor I like, booked them, and we on our way. And let me just say this, okay, because I know there are a lot of people that are against plastic surgery or they have something negative to say about women who have had plastic surgery like oh you're not happy with yourself you got a fake body you got fake but you got blah 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 listen I don't care about none of that I'm happy with myself if somebody told me right now you're not gonna be able to have your surgery ever in life I'm good like I'm very happy with myself okay this is just something that I want to do just to add a little more happy. I don't know. So if you're one of those people who are so against it, you like to talk down on it, you like, you just, you, it's just not for you. Okay, this is not the video for you. Moving on. I got my list of questions and things down here. So if I keep looking down, that's what I'm looking at my list. Okay. What type of surgery am I having? So I'm going to be having a tummy tuck, liposculpture, and BBL. So who is my surgeon? My surgeon is Dr. Judicelli, John Paul Judicelli Saba, aka Dr. G. Okay, Dr. G is the goat of tummy tucks in the DR. His tummy tucks look amazing. The scars look amazing. Um, the belly buttons look amazing. Like he's the goat of tummy tucks in the DR. And that is the main reason I chose him on top of that. He's very safe. He has no deaths. He has, uh, he has no infections. And his dad is an OG surgeon in the Dominican Republic. How did I find my surgeon? just doing research you really 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 have to do your research and that is even if you're having plastic surgery in the states if you're going to miami you have to do your research you need to know um do these doctors have deaths do they have infections what is going on with the clinics that they operate out of how is their bedside manner how is their post-op care you know you need to know these things before you go and lay on the table and get cut open by the surgeon if you don't take away anything else from this video take away this do your research do not go pay your money 
lay on a doctor's table without knowing anything about this person. Why did I choose the DR versus the US? One is results. The DR results are much better than the results you are going to get in the States, anywhere in Miami. Um, you're going to be more snatched when you go to the DR. Like, don't get me wrong, there are doctors in Miami that are snatching. <laughs> but they not snatching quite like the DR. Like, you're going to get more bang for your buck in the DR. And I'm not trying to dissuade anybody from going to Miami because I was actually um, scheduled with a doctor in Miami. I was scheduled with Dr. Gray at Mia Aesthetics in Miami. Um, I was supposed to go in August, this past August. I ended up getting a new job. The job started on the same day I was supposed to have the surgery. So I was kind of iffy anyway about if I really wanted to go to Miami. Shout out to Dr. Gray because he is actually a uh, pretty good surgeon, but I just, my heart was telling me, stick with what you want to do. And I really wanted to go to the DR and because I had looked up all these doctors and I found the doctor that I liked. I've seen a bunch of his work and I just, I'm stick to my gut. So, um, anyway, yeah. I paid a deposit for Dr. Gray, lost my deposit because I just decided I'm not going to go. So that's that. Number two is price. The price in the DR is considerably less than the price in the States. And let me just throw this out there. You should not get any surgery based on price alone. If your deciding factor in getting plastic surgery is price alone, you don't need to be having surgery. Your deciding factor should be the doctor that specializes in whatever it is that you are trying to get done. What doctor do you feel would do the best on your body type? That should be the number one deciding factor. After that should be price. You need to have a couple doctors that you think, you know, could do good with your body type and your whatever you want to get done. And then after that, price should be a factor. But never, ever, ever price alone. Never. With that being said, I like my surgeon and I like his price. So those two things together was a yes for me. And to add on to doing your research, you want to make sure that your doctor, your uh, surgeon is accredited. You know, is he an actual, he or she, an actual plastic surgeon? Because you have these doctors that were once uh, a podiatrist and then now they're dibbling and dabbling into plastic surgery. No, sir. No, ma'am. We don't want that. We want a plastic surgeon by trade. Like, we ain't playing them games. The Dominican Republic have what they call the Dominican Society of Plastic Reconstructive and Aesthetic Surgery. So that's like their, uh, what we would call board certified. You can go on that website and you can type in your doctor's name. It'll come up and it'll tell you whether they are a member of that society. Um, if you are going to have surgery in a DR, I would highly, 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 highly suggest you make sure that your surgeon is a part of that society, that he is on that list. What was the booking process? How did I book my surgery in the DR? Every plastic surgeon in DR has a WhatsApp contact phone number. All you do is send a message through WhatsApp to that number. When you send the message, it's probably going to go to a surgery coordinator. Um, sometimes it'll be the actual doctor that will message you back, but most of the time it's going to be a coordinator. You're going to message the coordinator and tell them what type of surgery you want to have and what date you're interested in having the surgery done. 
they are going to send you a questionnaire to complete this questionnaire is going to have um basic identifiable information like where do you live how old are you what's your name um and then the rest of the questionnaire is going to be medical screening and medical history so some things they would ask on there would be have you given birth how many times have you given birth do you smoke do you drink do you have any underlying medical conditions preliminary things that they need to know in order to put your quote together when it comes to these medical questionnaires do not lie about any medical conditions you have that you for some reason don't want the doctor to know about they need to decide whether or not you're a candidate for the surgery that you are requesting and if they don't have all of the information they are going to make an ill-informed decision that could potentially cost you your life just because you have an underlying medical condition or whatever you have going on with you does not mean that you cannot have plastic surgery it just means that you are going to have to take some extra steps in order to have plastic surgery it means you may have to get some extra tests done you may have to pay extra money for those tests but at the end of the day all of these things are put into place to keep you safe so when it comes to the questionnaires just be 100 percent honest they're they're either going to tell you yes or no you can have surgery and if you can't they're going to tell you why and maybe you can go back and fix those things and then try again at a later date it is never serious enough to lie about any conditions that you have if you lie on the questionnaire and then you get down there and they run these tests on you and something comes up you're not going to be able to have surgery they are going to tell you they're not going to be able to do it and they're going to send you back home that's going to be time wasted money wasted energy wasted so to avoid all of that just be honest from the beginning so after you complete your questionnaire you are going to send that back to them and you're also going to send pictures of yourself nude pictures of yourself so that they can see your body and send that along with your questionnaire to the doctor so they can put your quote together then based on your questionnaire and your pictures they are going to send you a quote back um with the price for whatever you requested to have done they're going to let you know if they can or can't do it they're also going to tell you how to make your deposit to book your surgery date you are going to then send your deposit in and your surgery is going to be booked. They're going to send you a confirmation. They might send you a screenshot showing that they received your deposit and they're going to send you a confirmation of your surgery date and the procedures that you will be having. They're going to send you a list of supplies that you may want to bring with you. So again, all of this is done via WhatsApp. So if you're looking into getting surgery in the DR, you definitely want to download WhatsApp because that will be your primary source of communication between you and your doctor or you and your surgery coordinator. The quickest time I've received a quote was about 30 minutes and the longest time was about seven days. So after sending in your questionnaire and your pictures, you should receive your quote anywhere from within 30 minutes to seven days am i staying at a recovery house yes i will be staying at radiance recovery house my recovery house includes all of my food it includes my transportation to and from the doctor's office it includes my transportation to and from the airport they help you get around after surgery they help you change your dressings they help you to wash up they help you eat they help you do everything they wash your linens for you anything you need your recovery house is going to provide what kind of research did i do this is the most important thing you can do to prepare yourself for your plastic surgery journey in Dominican Republic is research. I cannot stress this enough. You have to do your research. You cannot just go down there and say, I'm gonna get surgery and you don't know anything about the doctor, anything about the country, anything about recovery house, any, you don't know anything about anything. For a lot of my research, I used social media. Um, on Facebook, I joined 
plastic surgery groups that are specific to having plastic surgery done in the Dominican Republic. I also joined groups that were specific to the doctors that I was interested in in the Dominican Republic. And there is a bunch of good information from people who have already been there, people who have already done the same thing that I'm trying to do. So why not go in those groups and ask them questions and see what people are saying. You need to know other people's experiences. Um, what did they like? What didn't they like? Um, what is something that they would change? What is something they would do differently had they known some piece of information before they went? You just want to pick their brains and get as much knowledge as you can from people who have already been there and done it. Now with that, there is a lot of mess in these Facebook groups sometimes, okay? Some groups are worse than others. Um, even, even with that, if you can weed through the mess to get to the good stuff, the actual information that you need to know, Facebook groups are a really, really, really good tool, good resource for you to use as far as doing research before you make a decision. And what has been even more helpful to me than Facebook has been Instagram. I started a surgery Instagram page and y'all there is a whole community for surgery on Instagram. So yeah, I started a surgery page so that I can see other girls who had been to my doctor or who had been to other doctors in the Dominican Republic so that I can see their real life journey. Um, I can see their real life results. I can see where they're staying at. I can see what they're doing while they're down there. Um, you know, you just get a firsthand experience. And it is, it's to me, it was the closest I could get to actually being down there and seeing it for myself. Also on Instagram, you can follow all of these doctors that you're interested in. You can follow all of these recovery houses. These doctors are posting their surgeries on their stories all of the time. Recovery houses are posting what they're doing on their stories all of the time. So if you want to get a first-hand look of how a recovery house looks, um, the feel of it, the vibe of it, then I would say go to their page and look at their stories, look at their posts because they are constantly posting all of the time. Also, follow somebody who is staying at the recovery house that you're interested in staying in and ask them questions. That is another big thing. Ask the question. Ask whatever questions you have to these people who are there now or have already been there. Ask them what their experience was like. Ask them what was the food like in the recovery house. How did the people treat them? How far is it from the facility that you had to go to to have surgery? Ask them whatever questions you have. Like use them as a resource. Don't just follow them and look at the pictures and like the pictures. Ask them questions. You can never ever ever ask too many questions when it comes to your body and making a decision as big as having plastic surgery. You can go on your doctor's page and you can see what your doctor is posting. But just like us, they post their best pictures. So these doctors are going to be posting their very best work. But you want to be following other girls that went to your doctor who may not be posted on his page and you want to see their results and see if it matches up with what he's posting on his page or her page not that the people that they post are not real because they definitely are but you want to get a more well-rounded view another good tool is realself.com realself.com has reviews on probably every doctor in the world i don't think i've ever went on real self typed in a doctor's name and nothing came up there are always going to be reviews on realself.com and again, these are reviews from real people who have went to this doctor. Um, they're talking about their results. They may be talking about his bedside manner. They may be talking about um, the clinic, whatever. It's information that you need to know before you go down there. And it's information that you should definitely take advantage of. And another good resource you can use is YouTube. 
there are a lot of girls who post YouTube videos. Um, they post their whole journeys before they go down there, when they go down there, when they come back. Um, so look those videos up and watch them. And on top of that, like I was saying earlier, you want to make sure that your doctor is accredited an accredited plastic surgeon. If you go into the Dominican Republic, you want to look on Soto Cipre, if that's how you say it. I think that's how you say it. But you want to look on their website and you want to make sure that your surgeon is on there. When is my surgery? So my surgery is going to be February 22nd, 2021. So I have less than a month before I'll be down there. I'm going to fly out on the 20th, I believe. So you do want to be there at least two or three days ahead of time. So that way you can get your labs done, your x-rays done, every test that they need to run on you or anything that they need to do. They'll have time to do it and get your results before your surgery date. So that way you can actually have your surgery when you're scheduled to have it. There are girls who get down there and something comes back on their blood test, urine test, x-ray or something that the doctor might say, okay, we have to fix this, but it's going to push your uh, surgery date back two, three or four days. I'm not trying to have that happen to me. So I've already went to my PCM, did all my tests, you know, just in case, because I wanted to make sure that I was good before I booked anything with this trip. Um, so when I get down there, hopefully everything will still be A1. I can have surgery on my scheduled surgery date and everything will be smooth sailing. Did you try diet and exercise? To be honest, um, my diet is not bad at all. It's not the best, but I do watch how much I eat and I watch what I eat. Okay, I'm not on a particular diet, but the method I use has been working for me and I'm gonna just keep doing that. Exercise, I am no stranger to exercise. Um, at certain points, I'm actually exercising regularly. Um, now I need to get back on it. I've been kind of slack, um, but yeah. So I guess the answer to the question is, yeah, you try diet and exercise. but I'm trying to be snatched, snatched, snatched. But for sure, after you have your surgery and you get this silhouette that you want, I think diet and exercise is going to be dire. It's going to be important to maintain it. Let me say, if you are over a certain BMI, plastic surgery is not for you. And I'm not trying to be offensive to anyone. I'm just being real. In the state, when I say in the states referring to plastic surgery, I'm talking about Miami mostly because that is the plastic surgery mecca of the United States. So in the states, most doctors will not take you if you are over a 32 BMI. I think the most I've seen is 34, but most of them are 32 BMI. They will not take you if your BMI is higher than that. In uh, the DR, I've seen 34 BMI, and I've seen them go as high as 36 BMI. They will not take anybody over 36. But for me personally, even if I'm at a 36 BMI, I'm not going for plastic surgery because your results are not going to be optimal. You're not going to get the results you think that you're going to get because you are going to a plastic surgeon and not a magician. And that's just keeping it real. I would recommend weight loss surgery. If you are a candidate for weight loss surgery, I would recommend that you do that first, maybe a year later or two years later, go for your plastic surgery. Cause then your results are going to be much better. And even then, if you are of a higher BMI, you're probably gonna need more than one round to, uh, to get the look that you're looking for. 
you're probably going to need round two and when i say this stuff y'all this is very common it's very common for girls to have round two so don't think like there's anything wrong with that it's actually pretty normal for girls to go and have round two um for me i'm of a smaller stature so i don't know if i need round two if i get round two it'll just be because i want it you know it's not i don't think and i don't hope that it will be something that i'll need to do um i even see girls that go for round three you know if you're trying to if you're going for that vixen look like you want to be the instagram model with the big old booty and the tiny 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 waist sis that's two or three rounds that's not one round you these girls have had multiple rounds of liposuction bbl i say get as many rounds as you can safely you know do you do what makes you happy you know what i'm saying get the body you want live the life that you want and if somebody is talking down on you about getting plastic surgery it's because they don't have the money to get it remember that so all in all to wrap this up um i am not urging anyone to go out and get plastic surgery i am just telling you what i'm doing this is my preference these are my choices and i am not by any means telling anybody that they need to go out and do this because you don't this is a personal preference thing and that's it do i want to have any more plastic surgery after this yes i want to get my boobs done because like i said i've had two kids breastfed both of them and so my boobs are just not where i would like for them to be so that is something that i want to do um there are surgeons in the dominican republic that will do all of it together but for me i don't really like um how they do boob jobs in the dominican republic there's only like one doctor that does them very well and she i just heard too many bad things about her attitude and i don't have time to go to jail in dominican republic so we're not doing that i think boobs are better done in the united states than they are in the in the dominican republic i think they're more advanced in their techniques um with boobs in the united states versus the dr being more advanced with their techniques with tummy tucks and liposuction and bbl um that's just my personal opinion i would not get my boobs done in a dr so I do plan to get them done maybe later on this year if I do I would definitely let y'all know I have a surgeon in mind but I'm not gonna put that out there yet because I'm still doing a little bit of research so I'll keep y'all posted but if you guys have any questions about um, anything I talked about in the video please leave them below um because if you have the question somebody else has the question or it might be a question that maybe i haven't even thought of um and i have not had surgery yet so i may not have all the answers to the questions but i have a lot of surgery friends on instagram and i can ask them i have a lot of surgery friends on facebook and i can ask them guys that is all i have for this video um please don't forget to like comment and subscribe i'm gonna start a new playlist for this it's gonna be called maybe like plastic surgery list or plastic plastic surgery in a dr or something like that I'll start a playlist for this so make sure you turn on your notifications so that you'll know whenever I upload I'm gonna try to kind of um, vlog it when I'm there like my plane ride there my labs the recovery house all that stuff I'm gonna try to vlog it while I'm there and um, upload it for you guys so if you want to see the journey full on don't forget to subscribe okay and hit the notification bell but until next time i love you guys be safe wear your mask